Hey Bass Geek here and we are at the 2024 Red Crest in Birmingham, Alabama. Let's go check out what the Expo's like. Hey Geeks, check it out. This is the Bubba scale, along with a lot of other tools. We're gonna stop in here, let them tell a little bit about some of their offerings. Like, I'm really impressed with the net. The scale, we got to stop by and talk to them just the other day. But I'm gonna let this man introduce you and tell you a lot more about what Bubba really does. How are you, man? Hey, appreciate it, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, I'm and, Mark. Uh, tell, us, tell us about the Mark, I'm with Bubba. Um, we're 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 excited to be the official scale of the MLF now. We've been working with MLF for some time now on having a, a, a functional scale that's really focused on streamlining the whole process of weighing a fish for a tournament setting or just weighing a fish for fun. You know, we the scale's packed with features. It's got a lot of capabilities. There's three different modes you can run the scale on. It's a 60 pound maximum weight. It's extremely accurate. 0.03% uh, accuracy rating. Um, you can run it in tournament mode and coal up to eight fish. You can set it to coal five fish if you prefer. You can coal it to set to you can set the coal uh, maximum to three if you wanted to. Um, there's Bluetooth connectivity with the scale. It's, uh, with that, it opens up a whole world of new opportunities with that Bluetooth connectivity um, with our Bubba app. You can run trips on the uh, Bubba app. You can run tournaments. You can post uh, your be your personal best if you prefer. Tons of features. So lots of fun. It just kind of adds a new element to the fishing process. All right, man. Listen, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Listen, geeks, you need to go check it out. Uh, can they buy them from the website? Do they buy them from retail? Retailers, Bubba.com. They're out there. All right. So go check them out, Bubba.com. They've got a lot of different offerings, a lot of different products, too. Not just for the bass fishermen. I'm looking off to the side and I see they've got some play knives. Like I said, some really cool nets. Go check them out. They make quality, quality gear. Appreciate you, sir. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. You. All right, geeks, let's go check out some more cool gear. My subscribers and a fellow YouTuber stopped by. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. I'm Turner Atkins. Uh, my YouTube channel is TA Fishing and Faith. We talk about fishing on there, we talk about faith on there as well. And I'm a big, big, big fan of this fella right here. Watch all his YouTube channel. He, he probably got three, four, five, six uh, views each on all of his videos <laughs> from me. But yeah. I do a lot of learning. Of course, I don't fish as much as I used to. Knees and ankles hurt and all that hurt, but I do still watch him and I learn from him. He's a great, great teacher. Y'all need to watch him as well. Hey, you guys make sure you go out, subscribe to this man. He's got a great YouTube channel. And behind the camera over here, his wife, I'm assuming your wife, I'm sorry, wife. I didn't it ask you. I shouldn't assume like that, no. but, but she's over here carrying the camera around, doing the behind the scenes work for him. So go check out his YouTube channel and hit that sub button and that bell button. TA Fishing and Faith. Right. Check it out, y'all. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey, geeks, check it out. Here's Casey Ashley over in the Mercury booth. We're going to talk to a legendary pro, by the way, and a guy who I'm a huge fan of. And now, now you from South Carolina? South Carolina. Yeah, so I got a buddy from South Carolina. I got to get you to shout him out. Uh, my buddy Joey Madden down there. He's a, yeah, he's a good, he's a pretty good stick down there. Okay. Uh, he's from down, he grew up fishing Greenwood. Okay. And, uh, you know, he's down in that sort of area. So if you don't mind, say hi to him for Joey, Joey Madden? Probably yeah. seen you before. Probably. He's that yeah. close to me. Yeah, yeah he's, he's pretty close. So, man, listen, I run a, I run a 250 Merc. You know, uh, tell us what you like. And over the years, what's really impressed you about the new, new Merc? Well, I've been with Mercury since I began my career in 2006. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we... We all, I've all been with Triton boats my whole career. I so, Triton, I've got a TR, so, twi TR, a 98 TR20 at the house still. So we're used to going fast. Yeah, that's know? right. So, Triton Mercury's always been the That's right. Of being fast on the water. 
you know, and when I started, man, we was running, you know, 80 by yourself. And I was yeah. 21 footers with a 250 on it. And yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't know how they can make these motors <laughs> any better, you know, because, cause, man, like, you know, we, we've been all over the world and fished yeah. all kind of different bodies of water and run, run two and a half hours one way, you know, yeah. have 30 minutes to fish, that type of stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. But when it came out with this four stroke, man, it's, it's like, uh, it's Cadillac. You know, it is. You know? And it also don't hurt that it just sips gas and you ain't having to put thirty dollars worth of uh, oil in it all the yeah, time either that's a game changer yeah you know, that, that's what i was about to say as that keeps as, me on the water more out there yeah. yeah as long as you keep the oil changed yeah and keep gas in it you don't ever have to worry about that's it that's right it's, it's smooth you know it sounds like a cool bit it, it fires, does but, but other than that it's pretty quiet yeah <laughs> all right man i appreciate you taking the time to yeah. chat with me like Thank i said a huge fan brother appreciate you appreciate and uh, we're gonna get out of here and go look at some other I stuff you, man. man. thank you yes sir I don't have to give this guy an introduction at all. If you don't know who he is, make sure you go follow and I'll let him introduce himself. What's up everybody, JT from Fishing with Gramps here. Gotta have to come out and see Hank at the Bass Geek, at the Camus booth, you know, because we're at the Major League Fishing Red Crest Expo, the best are at it, but you know, us YouTubers gotta YouTube and do our stuff and things. Right. So I'm here at the KBF booth, come upstairs and see us, check us out, talk about kayak bass fishing. You wanna talk to the pro, the man, the myth, Mr. Demiki Rig, who brought these videos to market five years ago, but now it's suddenly the new big hotness. Yeah, if you'd been following Bass Geek, you knew about all these techniques years ago. So make sure you give Hank a follow, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. <laughs>Hey Geeks, check this out. I've seen this company at ICAST last year and they're a really neat, real company. So I wanna walk up here, introduce, let them introduce themselves and tell you about a really unique new reel. Hey man. Hey guys, there we go. Hey, if you don't mind, introduce your company, introduce yourself and tell us about your product. Yeah, absolutely. So my name's Chris Kane. I'm with Bates Fishing Company. We are out of Salina, Texas, about 45 minutes north of Dallas. And right now we're the only real manufacturer in the market is making low profile casting reels out of saw block aluminum. So uh, in front of me, we've got a pretty good representation of our, our line of products. We've got two reels in our 150 size frame class, uh, the Goat and the Salty. And so those reels, again, all of our frames on all of our reels are machined totally out of solid block aluminum. And then we build the guts in from there. We machine our own gears. Uh, we spec all of our bearings and all of our internal pieces. We use things like titanium crank arms. And so we're just trying to build bait casters better. So the Goat and the Salty, there are 150 size reels. One's fresh water and one we beef up a little bit with brass main gears and pinion gears for salt water uh, corrosion resistance. And then new at ICAST this past July is the reel that we call the Hundo. It's the hottest thing on the market right now in its class. And so it's a, sm a much smaller frame, a 100 size. That's why we call it the Hundo. Uh, and in the Hundo, you get a couple new features that you don't get on our previous models. So you get things like dual brakes, our matrix braking system, a combination of magnetic and centrifugal brakes. Uh, and then you also get our gum rubber grip. So think of like the old Chuck Taylor tennis shoe soles. We took that material and turned it into a handle. Um, and then also in the hundo, you get a, a reel that, that weighs in totality five ounces. So it's almost non-existent in your hand, still pulls 14 pounds of drag and just an absolute workhorse. Um, so that's kind of our full lineup. You can find our products on baitsfishingco.com. We've also got about 80 retailers nationwide currently, and we're growing that every week. So y'all check us out online, check us out uh, in the shows throughout the country, and, uh, and put a baits in your hand. All right, man, thank you very much for yeah, talking absolutely. with us, brother. I really love these reels. Hopefully I'll get my hands on one here before too long. Absolutely. And we'll talk about it, man, see what do we think about it. All right, Thank you for you. taking the time. Yep, Again, have a good day. hey, did you tell them where, you can find, where they can find these I reels? I did, yeah. You okay. find them on baitsfishingco.com or any of our retailers. Website's got a dealer locator that picks up your location and tells you where the closest store is at. I always like to end with that anyway. Go pick some up, guys. Appreciate yeah, that's you. right. Thank you all. All right, let's go over here. I see somebody we're going to kind of bomb real quick. Check it out. It is a real MLF official. Hey, man, so introduce yourself. You are a real official MLF official, right? I am. Okay, so, so tell us a little bit. I'm sorry, say your name again. I walked all over you right there. <laughs> it's all good. James Anton. 
All right. So how long have you been doing this? This will be my second year. So how do you become an MLF official? You fill out, they sent out an email last year and we went through a vetting process and answered questions, answered emails on different things and then had a phone interview and then from there got a call back and says like for you to be part of it and then had to show up for a day of training and get all the the ins and outs of being rules for the rules yeah. and all of that because the officials have a set of rules the anglers have another set of rules and all of that to work them together yeah so what's what's some of the rules for the officials like what can the officials what's a give us an example like of a no-no for an official what's a no-no for an official well we're supposed to be non-intrusive so, uh, yeah, we're the know, biggest one, obviously. Yeah, that's yeah. the biggest one. We're supposed to be non-intrusive, and so that because the angler, that's his job. That's his job. Yeah, you know, he's trying to make a living. Yeah, and we're supposed to sit there and be non-intrusive for that purpose. And you know, they turn around and ask us questions. You know, give us updates, things like that. That's part of it. Yeah. Um, you know, like their official, like as them. You know, it's like they'll ask you. Can I leave the boat? You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you can leave the boat to retrieve that fish, but it's going, you know, there'll be a penalty. Be a penalty. Yeah. You know, or, you know, if you throw a second line in, there's a penalty as yeah. long as they're using. I mean, they can use, throw a second line in, but they can't use. Like if they get one line, they get snagged. They yeah. can put that rod down, and they can throw another line in. Yeah. So they eat. can't actually fish with two lines. Yeah, they can't fish yeah. with two. So what if they actually can't hook one? And then can they throw another out and hook two like that? No. No, can't do no. that. I mean, if that line got snagged and there's yeah. no way they can do anything. They, and they know there's a fish. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Got it. Yeah. So, so what's, what's uh, give us one good story. Funny, good, bad. You don't have to give the name, of course. We don't want to make anybody mad. But what's a, what's a good story that you've got that you love to tell? Well, I had one of the anglers um, last year. He looks at me and he goes, can I put my boat on the rocks? It's your boat. <laughs> yeah. If you want to put your hundred thousand dollar boat on the rocks, <laughs> that's up to you. Feel free. I said I'm going to yeah. tell you that you're getting close to rocks, but you know, it's not my boat. You do what you want to do. There you go. Yeah. And they were like, okay, I'll just test it. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll just test it. <laughs> All right, man, that's pretty cool. So, are they looking for any officials? They're, they're always website? looking. So, they're always looking. So, where, where do they go, and kind of what is the criteria that they look for? Roughly. I mean, well, you know a little bit about fishing. I mean, they'll teach you also. I mean, like this year we're using the Bubba Scales. Yeah. So, yeah, we had to go through the training for that. And so it takes a little bit more to do that because they lock in and those Bubba Scales are actually connected to the iPad. So once we get it locked in, you know, we write the score down on a piece of paper first. And then, then we hit the upload button. It uploads it to the to the iPad, and we hit approve or reject. And so yeah, I mean it's just different criteria. You can get a hold of an MLF. They'll transfer you to uh, the ML, to the judge for us, the official guy, and he'll he'll vent you that way. That's the well, man. I appreciate you taking the time. I don't think I've seen anybody talk to an official, and it's an honor, man. We appreciate what you do for the sport. We appreciate you what you do for MLF. Thank you. Thank we you. Appreciate. It. I love it. It's fun. All right. All right, let's go check out some other things. We'll see you later. What's up, guys? How are y'all? Ryan Gutsy here with Hank from Bass Geeks. There you go. Guys, we're here at the Camus booth. I'm not working today, but he is. Uh-oh. Look at that right there. Somebody's over my shoulder. Look at that. That's okay. him. Tell us what you want in that picture. So, it's Camus Cash. Guys, one ABA. We got a first place uh, place and got Camus cash out of it, guys. If you run a Camus, if you have different, we have different sets. So we have gold, silver, and platinum. Guys, if you run a Camus, it's the best thing to do. Make sure you get out there, you enter that Camus cash so you can win some more money in those tournaments. Hey, this guy's a good a good angler too. Tell us what you're fishing. Hello. Tell us uh, tell us a little bit about it. You got any uh, Instagram, YouTube? Yeah. Tell so, us about any of that. Guys, I'm actually fishing the MLF Toyota Series and also the BFL Volunteer Division. ABA is East Tennessee Division and the uh, bunch of different local things around the house, guys. But also, I do have a YouTube, Ryan Gutsy Fishing, same as Instagram and Facebook like that, guys. So, if y'all like it, head on over to the channel, like and subscribe. There you go. Hey, a couple of my subscribers stopped by the Camus booth here in Birmingham at the Red Crest. 
Hey, introduce yourself. I'm Tommy Wills. I'm Dylan what, uh, Dill. And I would like to say hey to my mom. There you go. You better. So, yeah. what uh, what do you guys find any good deals around here, man? What are you looking yeah. for? We've got uh, some good deals on some baits, some rods. What kind of... Uh, so you guys told me you you bought a canvas what last year? So tell us about yeah. your boat a little bit. It's a 2023 CX20. Great. I love it. One of the best boats I've ever owned. Now you let him drive it yet? Probably not. Either. One time. Yeah. <laughs> Big scared you that man? No, I was on the bank. <laughs> oh no. You, I just you, trusted you him. wait for him to get hit the bank for a shoreline break and then take off on him? Yes, I <laughs> Yeah, good job. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, sir. I appreciate Thank you. you. Hey geeks, check it out. We're gonna start by the KBL, uh, Torquedo. I don't know. There's just a hey. whole bunch of stuff. And look who's sitting here. <laughs> Gramps fishing. Listen, if you guys have not seen this man's, and I've been, he's, I've been lucky enough. He's had me on a couple of his lives. Back and forth. Yeah. yeah back and forth. And uh, you know, so we've we've kind of talked to him a little bit. But uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us what you're doing here in the KBF. Booth. Gotcha. Well, welcome to the 2024 Major League Fishing Red Crest. Expo. My name is JT Hickman. I run a channel called Fishing with Gramps. And one of the big things I like to do too is encourage people, veterans, kids, all kinds of folks to get off the bank and into a kayak is a great way to fish. Now we also do a lot of veteran outreach where we're trying to break people away for veteran recreational therapy. Being outdoors is obviously amazing. But let's talk a little bit about kayak bass fishing itself. There's a lot of different activities from the pro level down to the fun stuff too. But as you can see, we fish out of all kinds of awesome gear, but you know what? Let me lead to the man himself, Mr. Chad Hoover. Excuse me, sir. Can you stop playing with your bait? I'm playing with kids. Oh, oh well, you know. Good. Don't, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm having fun with the kids. What's up, man? Yeah, well, how are you? Man. Hey, a very good guy. Listen, I've met him several times. Hopefully, we're going to finally get together. No, not hopefully. Have free the ball's time. in your court. Okay. He, to he's, come fish with me. He's laid it on I my shoulder. I know what it is. He's scared of the big fish, right? <laughs> I he's am. He's scared I, that he, that princess listen, pole if just ain't going to hold up to some of those Gunnerville Giants. If it's over three pounds, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> He'll pull some of the fish out we'll catch and want to know what, what species is this. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> they don't make bass like this. This is a hybrid. <laughs> anyway, hey, what you got? So, man, tell us a little bit about KBF. I mean, you're the grand poobah, the instigator, the granddaddy of kayak bass fishing tournaments. I mean, am, am I wrong? I mean, I don't no, think so. I, mean, there I was, think there you're was a, the guy that really made it happen. There was a few of us out there early on. Um, I think we were the first ones to truly pour gas on the fire mm -hmm. and to take it to the level that we took it to. You know, we're really proud of where the sport is, and we know that KBF had a very instrumental um, point in that. There's yeah. actually tournaments out there that are getting more traction than us now, like the Bass Nation Kayak Series. But I've had people say to me, well, I only knew about the Bass Nation Kayak Series because of KBF. Absolutely. Or, and we built a community. And so because we built that community, those folks travel together. And I understand the iconic blue trophy. So if I was going to fish in a tournament, uh, and it was a KBF tournament, and then it was a Bassmaster tournament, I'm probably going to go fish the Bassmaster tournament too. It's just part of it. But what we also look to do at KBF is continue to move the ball forward for the community, for conservation, and for competition and maintaining the standards. So we're always looking for those ways that anglers can manipulate or cheat the system. Yeah. Yeah. We're always looking for trying to push the technolo technological threshold forward so we can protect the integrity of, ca of kayak bass fishing, so we can gather more information, so we can use that information for conservation. Because what a lot of people don't understand is the whole point behind the catch photo release thing is to stop putting bass in live wells, to stop banging them around for eight hours on the water and then putting them on a trailer and banging them around and then taking them and swinging them around at a at a weigh-in and we all grew up doing it and i get it but you know the generation before me grew up holding up stringers yeah, yeah. and i firmly yeah. believe yes. a lot like what they're doing here at major league fishing that in 10 years 15 years we're going to look back at 
weigh-ins where the fish were brought in and and we're gonna look at that like I believe that the old days of holding yes. up stringers and so to me what we do with catch photo release is push that conservation barrier but what we're also doing is getting data that can be shared with universities that can be shared with departments of natural resources wildlife commissions and things along those lines mm -hmm. so that conservation can be brought to them real time okay and and so that one of the other things that I think is really disruptive to fisheries and I hate the fact that they they have to do it when they do it but they always try to do these conservation things pre-spawn during the spawn or post-spawn yes. run around electroshock and fish and so if we can create a system where you don't have to go electroshock because you've got so much data yes. over a longer period of time for a larger sampling of the lake and it actually is a viable source then we could get away from that disruptive conservation practice and so to me the big thing that we've always been about is conservation pushing the alternative but getting people into fishing and thinking about fishing differently um, a lot of people in bass boats are, are, are up on a platform looking down we're mm -hmm. down at the water looking up yeah. but we're not trying to be divisive we're trying yes. to say this is another way to fish it's another you know just like a lot of guys will have 12 rods on the deck of their bass boat be or 24 about. rods on their bass boat or 37 <laughs> yeah. this is just another way to fish yeah, i personally feel like it's one of the most effective ways to fish i feel like it's one of the most enjoyable ways to fish and if you can take the most effective and the most enjoyable and merge them together mm -hmm. who the hell wouldn't want to do that and so for me i've been doing it almost 30 years i still get jacked up like a 10 year old on mountain dew when I catch a four pounder, but I definitely get jacked up when I catch a nine, 10 pounder. And I even get more jacked up when I catch a 10 pounder and there's somebody in a bass boat 50 <laughs> yards from me that can't get where I'm at. And so I love people watching me yeah. catch fish. It's just fun. It's just hey, a fun. I always say it's funner in front of an audience. Exactly. We're all competitive in fishing. We take pictures, we show them up. And so it's always fun to be able to do that. And so for me, my goal is to create a way to make fishing fun again so that we don't lose this next generation yes. and to make it more attainable because let's get real let's just bass boats ain't getting cheaper let's put it where it is he's he's being little pr affordable listen i have always fished out of a boat but i'll tell you right now if we don't do what this man has done with the sports with kayaks and be able to open it up to the every man everybody out there because I mean, I'll be the first to tell you, a $114,000 boat, that cost almost as much as what I paid for my house, man. It's a mortgage. And it's crazy. Yeah. So, you but know, your I house love, gets, I love your house thing. is worth more every day since you bought it. Exactly. Versus. Maybe not in the Biden thing, but you know what I'm saying. It's, <laughs> yeah. It should be worth, it, long term, it will be worth more yeah. than what you paid for it. But that boat, the day you buy it, Whoop. it starts going down. Yeah. When you pull it off the lot, it takes a big dip. But aside from all of that, it's just a more fun, in my opinion, a more connected way to fish. Yeah. You know, when you set the hook on a three pounder in your bass boat, you're only fighting it against the drag. That's true. When I set the hook on a four pounder or a three pounder in my boat, I am part of the drag yeah. because they pull me along. Yeah. You hook a big striper, you hook a big catfish, you hook a big redfish, you're going for a sleigh ride. And for me, that is the number one thing that I think flips the switch in people when they first try it they get out and being on the water is cool being low and slow is cool seeing things that you don't see seeing bass activity that you don't normally get to see but i'll be honest with you when you rip when that when that addiction starts when that thing gets in your blood about being a kayak angler it's after you get that that first sleigh ride yeah when you set the hook now i've experienced it just out of a 10 but that's right. what i grew up with. and i tell people all the time when you set the hook and they pull back Oh man, it's a it's a whole different thing. It's a ride. Yeah, it is. Well, listen, guys, make sure you go check out KB if you're thinking about getting into tournament fishing and if you're thinking about getting into, you know, uh, kayak fishing, you guys know I am a proponent of bank, kayak, boat, fishing. It, it, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're out there in a bathtub, float it, fish it, have fun with it, and do it. That, that's what I say. I hate all the negativity. Listen, fishing's fun. Forget all the BS that everybody else is trying to pour into it. But man, can I'm I say one fan. quick thing yes, about sir. that? Yes, sir. Hey, here's the deal. There's a whole bunch of people trying to take fishing away from us yes. that we already got to deal with. Let's stop the negativity against each other Amen. because you are giving them ammunition. Okay, if you don't like that a tournament organization allows forward facing sonar, cool. 
bash that tournament organization, send them an email. Stop bashing each other on social media because that yep. angler, that individual is only doing what they've got to do to feed their family, to promote their sponsors, and to be competitive. There you go. So if you're bashing an individual angler for how they're fishing, especially a competitor, you're an asshole. It's simple. There's no other way around it. There's no way, there's no way to sugarcoat it. If you don't like something, take action. And posting on Instagram or Facebook or in the comment section is actually not action. You are the same ones that would criticize a bunch of liberals for the things that they do and act like they're a bunch of whiners, but you're doing that to your fellow fishermen. So stop. Stop. If you want to be a part of change, be a part of change. I agree. You don't change anything with these. Nope. Get off the couch. Go talk to your representatives. Go talk to the people that run the tournaments near you, and then it'll trickle up. You're not going to change things by just bashing people on social media. I agree. All you're going to do is tear each other down and give the people that are trying to take this opportunity away from us more ammo. So, I agree. I appreciate you giving me the hey, chance to say that. No, man. Thank you, man. I Be say good. it all the time. My guy knows it. Now, y'all saw him. He said he's going to come fish with me. I'm going to start calling him out once a month <laughs> on my channel if he doesn't. All right? Y'all right. be good. All <laughs> Thanks, right. man. Hey, good, we're going to go check out some right. more things. Guys, KBF, make sure you check them out. Hey, one of my subscribers just come up to say hi to me. I am at the Red Crest in Alabama. Hey, man, introduce yourself. My name is... Um, <laughs> Sorry, look at me. I, I left him hanging, guys. Yeah, Randall Moore from Philadelphia, Mississippi. Just want to say a shout out to the Bass Geek. I saw him walking by. He was kind enough to stop and say, what's up? And we had a good conversation. So, hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to Bass Geek. Anytime you guys come up, you make sure you throw a rock at me or something to get my attention because my YouTube channel is nothing without you geeks out there watching so man you got any social medias you want to shout out anybody you want to say hi to just bass geek all right any anybody any any family anybody you want to say hi to any any shout out to my son kj there you go out in colleen texas all right man thank you Hey Geeks, here's Kevin at Camus Boots. I want to introduce you to him. Uh, I'm good friends with Kevin and he's gonna show you the newest Camus Boats offering. Hey Hank, how you doing, doing man? man? You doing all right? Thank you. So tell us about the newest uh, Camus Boat on the line. Yeah guys, hey this right here is uh, this is our new XS20. We have this also available in the XS21. It's the uh, original CX model boat deck and hull, same running surface, just with a new aqua traction decking and fiberglass lids. This makes it a little bit more versatile for um, somewhat inshore fishing, possibly, or just for someone it's easier to clean and take care of. So as you look right here, you see the same deck layout, it just has the aqua traction instead of the carpet. We also do fiberglass lids. This is something we do in our saltwater series called Light RTM. So basically you have a two-sided mold, which I can show you when we get up in here, where it's slick on both sides. All right, guys, as you see right here, this is the fiberglass lid that we build. We use this again on our saltwater. This is uh, not a real new technology, but it's a technology we perfected very well, so it makes it a light lid. So actually this boat is 50 pounds lighter than a boat with aluminum lids and carpet which is right opposite of boats in the past that had fiberglass lids. So basically, as I was telling you earlier, you have a two-piece mold. So you spray the gel coat color that you want on both sides. You put the fiberglass in, you put the molds together, and then it ejects a color-infused resin that is white so you don't get that ugly dark mark. This is the Aqua Traction decking. Aqua Traction is a... Uh, pretty new to the market. It's a closed cell foam. doesn't get slick when it's wet. It's in the morning time, so like an ice skating ring and things. Uh, it's also easy to clean, simple as Dawn dishwashing soap. So this boat is available. Obviously, this is a new color called sand. We can do the interior color in any gel coat color, so it makes it uh, very attractive. We have three colors of matting you can use. You can use a light gray or charcoal, and we also have this saddle tan. 
with the saddle tan seats. Gives that look of a uh, hunter, fisherman. We also have a green that we're going to introduce at the Classic next week. It's a Granada green. So uh, basically it's the same boat, so if you would and you want to come see one, there are not a lot of them around, but you can go look at any of these CX models and just imagine or build it on the website for what you could get with an XS20 or 21. Hey geeks, make sure you go check out Camus Boats. I'm telling you, it's the best riding, best driving, best boat on the market. I appreciate everything this guy has done for me and everything that Camus has done for me and the channel. He's definitely raised our level of fishing by a mile. So go see your local dealer. If you have trouble finding a dealer, go to www.camusboats.com. Put in your zip code, it'll take you right there. Thank you guys. Right. See you bud. See you man. We're gonna walk Good around day. geeks and find some more cool stuff. Hey, run into one of my subscribers here at the Red Crest. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Nolan Maley. I'm from Delville, Alabama, down south near Dothan. All right. And uh, I watched the Bass Geek here on YouTube, and I've enjoyed his videos, and I learned quite a bit from it, too. Thank you very much. Now, guys, notice the hat that he's wearing right That's there. That's right. Four that... new Garmin units just in the last month. What Garmin's did you pick up? I got two uh, I got the 293 SVs, and I got the new USD 2. Oh, yeah. And I got SVO 106 for my last show. I got to pick up the, uh, two, the new... What they're calling it the U2 now. U2s, so yeah, I'm going to pick up one of the new U2s, put it on the front of the boat so that I can finally active captain record and communicate and share. Right. We'll talk about that in a later video and while that's important. Yeah. I'll share it with this guy after I get off here, but that's, right. that's a little bit long. Man, I appreciate stuff. I thank you so much for being a geek and watching the channel. Thank you for I can't, do that. I can't tell you. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you. It really does mean the world to me. Hey, come by and see me, geeks. Hey Geeks, a couple of my subscribers stopped by down here at the Red Crest in Birmingham. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hey, Mark Tompkins from Charlotte, North Carolina, my beautiful daughter Peyton. I want to stop by my good friend, the Bass Geek himself. Appreciate you, man. We love you. So you guys want to say hi to anybody? Hey, Mom. Yeah, you better say hi to Mom. That's right. My beautiful you. wife is back at home. We, we miss you. We love you. And uh, we'll see you soon. So uh, anything else you want, you want to holler at or hey. social medias, anything? If you got any business uh, in North Carolina, I'm, I'm in uh, commercial construction. There you go. Love, love to uh, work with you. Uh, my name again, Mark Tompkins. I work with a company called Interstate Construction Corporation. Hit us up. There you go. School team ain't got one yet? Not, Not yet. All right. Hey, listen. We're getting close. What, what school is it you go to? Long Trails Western Academy. Get a team, on it. Please. Get I'm a team. You. Shout out. To Catawba Valley Community College to be a rank this year. Go team. Good job. Thank you, you guys. Hey, geeks, check it out. I got one of my best buds in the industry, Mr. Jack Dice, sitting over here. He is with GSM Outdoors. Now, he is going to tell us about some really cool new offerings from Yamamoto. You guys know I'm a big geek when it comes to the Gary Yamamoto, well, Yamamoto stuff now. Hey, Jack, what's going what's on, up, man? What's up, Hank? How, How you doing, doing? brother? Good to be with Bass Geek. Hey, man. It's good to always talk to you. Now, you know, I always say this, I'm always trying to get him back in his channel, but I will say you guys need to keep up with him because he is fishing the opens, right? Yep, yep. I just wanted to make master. sure I, you know, get him confused. There's, there's so many free, I'm old. fishing trails I'm old. nowadays. You know, I, the brain don't work like it used to, you know. But yeah, man, tell us about Yamamoto's new baits and, and what they are. Yeah, so, so some of the reason I'm not on YouTube is because I got I got re real work <laughs> to do. They want me to do some stuff on the computer, but but the results are some cool things. So we've got some new baits here from Yamamoto that we released here at Redcrest. It's the Sensei Worm. It's a six and a half inch straight tail finesse worm. We've got 12 colors here. And this is really your do-all Swiss Army knife of a finesse worm. It's really, Yamamoto, really the, the difference maker for Yamamoto has always been formula. Getting it custom tailored to get the action right on each bait. And so this one is a really unique formula. It's kind of a neutrally buoyant formula. There's a lot of people on the market, you know, a lot of baits that, that people say, hey, I want a bait that floats. I want it to stand up, up off the bottom. But like, if it sits straight up like a cork, 
that doesn't really look natural to a fish. But then on the other hand, you don't want it to be dragging along the bottom like a rock. So that neutrally buoyant formula, it really moves where whatever the current's doing, it allows for a natural movement no matter how you're fishing it. So you rig it on a drop shot, it's gonna hold horizontally. You fish it on a shaky head, you pop it, it's gonna hold and hang, give some hang time in the water. And then on a Nico rig, it, this thing is just phenomenal. So six and a half inches long, that custom formula means that you're gonna get bites no matter you know how pressured the fish get. And it, with the way our fisheries are now, that's really a no-brainer. And we've got some new colors too. This one is OG Junebug. It's a little bit darker Junebug. Some of our pros and fans have asked for. And then we've got uh, another new color in, again, in the Sensei Worm, Red Bug. This is just a staple color that Yamamoto hasn't had. And so we're super excited to launch it in the Sensei Worm now. All right, man, we appreciate it, Jack. You know I'm a huge fan. You know I'm a fan of everything you, you know do, I am. brother. I'm a fan of I know. We, we fanboy out on each other all the time. But geeks, make sure you go check out Yamamoto Baits. This man has a big hand in the design, I'm guessing, of all these baits now. I, it's, it's something I, I'm privileged enough to work with some of the best pro fishermen in the industry. It's really, it's bringing their ideas to life. And so I'm a small piece of it, but I'm, I'm glad that I am. And I'm going to say, listen, he's as good as a stick as any of them are, man. But listen, we're going to get out of here, and we're just going to end it right here. Listen, make sure you check out Yamamoto. Make sure you follow Jack, too. Hey, by the way, tell them where they can follow you at on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Yeah, I, I, I've always been, I'm, I'm loyal to my roots. I've been obsessed fishing since I was about 14 you on YouTube, on a, on Instagram and on Facebook. You can find me and on TikTok, there obsessed fishing. So you can follow along with him as he's fishing those opens and cheer him on. Now, as always, geeks, questions and comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell so you get the notifications when these videos come out. 100% Watch Squad, you geeks know I love you. And you geeks, you geeks rock.